21. Which statement describes how the author's use of problem and solution in paragraph 5 contributes to the development of ideas in the passage. Okay, this is a problem and solution question. So we have a problem defined and a solution defined. We need to figure out what exactly that is from the text in paragraph five. Okay, and we want to know how that contributes to the development of ideas. Okay, so where do we see problem solution in paragraph five? Let's go back up and check. So this is where Ederly jumped into the water to swim again. At first she shivered, though she covered her body with grease. Her limbs felt stiff, her strokes were irregular. Well, this is presenting a problem, right? So every problem solution has to start with a problem. Driving forward, she, taught, she fought to clear her mind and find what was called her sphere, a place where the sea became only a companion. And all the shrieks and the boat engines faded away. So that is the solution. And then using a new overhand stroke called the American Crawl, Ederly eventually settled into a steady pace. Okay. So actually, by the time she used the stroke, she kind of solved her problem. Her problem seemed to be an issue of she was stiff, it was cold, her strokes were irregular, um, and she had to fight to clear her mind. So her solution was to find her sphere, her space that helped her clear her mind and move forward despite being cold. That seems to be the problem solution. And it shows bigger picture that she could mentally overcome her obstacles. Okay, so let's see if there's an answer choice that picks up on these ideas. A, detailing the challenges that the cold channel waters presented highlights how effective Ederly's training was. Okay, the solution to the cold waters is not her training. That's incorrect. That's just simply not our answer. B. Describing Ederly's physical difficulties during her swim. Were they physical difficulties? That's not quite right. Some of her difficulties were the cold water. Okay. And then provides evidence of the team effort. Now the team effort was not the solution to her problem of physical difficulties. That wasn't even the problem. So make sure the answer identifies the right problem and the right solution from the text. Again, let's reiterate, the problem was she was stiff, the water was cold, she wasn't sort of mentally, emotionally ready for the swim. And what she did, she found her own sphere, her own space, mentally, that allowed her to continue. That was the solution. Let's keep going. C. Explaining the difficulties that arose in the effort helps predict the additional problems that occurred during Ederly's swim. Well, that makes no sense. That is not even a problem or a solution. D. Hope this one's correct. Illustrating Ederly's process of blocking out her discomfort. Yes, the cold water. She had to block that out mentally. She had to find her space. Shows that swimming the channel was both a mental and physical challenge. Yeah, that was kind of the big picture, right? Because we do have to answer how it develops ideas in the passage. It was not only a physical challenge, but it was mental as well. D is the correct answer for 21.